Hey everyone, welcome back and let's write some more neat code today. So today let's solve the problem, redistribute characters to make all strings equal. We're given an array of words and we can make one particular operation and that is from any of these words, like this one, we can take a character and then move it into a different word in any position in that word. So not super complicated and we want to return true if it's possible that we can make every string in the list of words equal to each other. So basically we want all of these words to be the same and in this case we can do that by taking one of these A's and putting it at the beginning here because that will make this string ABC just like this and just like this. So at first this problem does seem more complicated than it is because if you really take this operation literally you will have to do quite a few operations it's not simple like we could take this a and put it in any position in either of these words that's not simple that is going to be very very complex in terms of time complexity but it's actually more simple than that this problem is more simple if you notice this operation actually gives us a lot of flexibility what it does for us is we can take any of these characters move it into a different word and then there's no restriction that we can't just take this exact same character and then move it back but maybe in a different position so in other words this operation allows us to take any of these characters and rearrange them in any way that we want. We can take any of these characters and rearrange them. If we wanted to make this BAC, that's fine. The reason this is important is because it basically takes this problem and reduces it to a much simpler one. If we want to know if we can create a list of words that is the same length as this one where every word is the exact same, the question we should really be asking ourselves is do we have enough copies of every single character such that that is possible? So it really becomes a counting game. We've reduced this problem to just counting the occurrences of each character. So once we do that, and probably the best data structure for us to do that is going to be with a hash map. So for every character, we're going to count the occurrences. So suppose for lowercase a, we count that there are three occurrences of it. For lowercase b, we find that there are three occurrences of it. And same for lowercase c, there are three occurrences of it. And in the input, we're given three words. So what we find is that for each word, we can give the word a single a, a single b, and a single C. How we arrange those characters doesn't really matter whether it's ABC or BAC, because as long as each word has the same count of each character, it's possible to arrange them such that they're all equal. So this is pretty much all you need to know to solve this problem. But it's possible that maybe we actually had six Cs and three Bs and three As. Does this make it possible for us to arrange every word such that they're the same? Well, we have three words, remember. Instead of giving each word one C, we can give each word two Cs. And that's because six divides evenly with three. Basically, if you take six, mod it by three, you get a remainder of zero. That means that three can divide six evenly. So really what we're going to be doing is counting the occurrences of each character and then ensuring that that count is divisible by the length of the words, the length of the words array, not the length of an individual word, but the length of the words array which in this case is three. If we had a five here instead for the count of C, we know that three does not divide five. We'll get a remainder of two. So in this case, it would not be possible for us to uh, distribute the characters. So in that case, we would return false. But in the other cases that we were talking about, we would return true. So knowing all of that, the time complexity of this problem just becomes a matter of counting the occurrences of each character, which let's just say is going to be big O of n. Let's say n is the total number of characters in the string. Or if we want to say n is the number of words, then we can say n times m, where maybe m is the length of the longest word. In that case, the space complexity would be the number of unique characters, which let's say is 26, I believe, for this problem. So technically, the space complexity is going to be constant. Now let's code this up. So like I said, what we want to do is just count 
the occurrences of each character. The easiest way to do that is with a hash map. And I'm going to create a default dictionary actually it makes things a bit easier for us in Python, because then when we iterate over every word in the list of words, and then for each word, we iterate over every character in that word, then when we want to increment the count of that particular character, we can just say plus equal one. And you might think, well, what if this wasn't even initialized? How can we add one to something that doesn't even exist? Well, that's what a default dictionary does. If the value is not initialized, it will be assumed to be the integer zero. That helps us out there. So now that we've built that hash map, we want to go through every character in that hash map and we want not the character, we want the count of that character, which we can get pretty easily like this. And we want to check, is this divisible by the length of words? And if it's not, like if this is greater than zero, or we can just in Python implicitly check if this is non-zero like this, if this is the case, we know immediately we can return false because it's just not possible to distribute the characters. But if we go through every character and check that the count is divisible, then out here we can return true. It is possible. So this is the entire solution. Let's run it to make sure that it works. As you can see on the left, yes, it does. And it's pretty efficient. If you found this helpful, please like and subscribe. If you're preparing for coding interviews, check out neatcode.io. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.